Okay, good morning, everybody. God bless you. I don't know what time you're going to be watching this video, but it's morning here where I'm at. Um, you guys, um, the teachings of Jesus Christ, man, there's nothing more important. And everything that we share, everything that we do, it's all about Jesus Christ and what he did. He came here to take us out of the darkness into his light. To, from captivity, you know, they came in, they spied out our liberty we had in him, took you back into captivity by the things of this world. And see, these are the teachings of Jesus Christ. He explains all this. And he, and also when, he, when um, Satan tries um, offering Jesus all the kingdoms of the whole world, and then he says it's been given into him to do with whatever he pleases. And Jesus didn't say, no, it hasn't, because it has been, okay? Now, for people to be preaching prosperity and the love and the things of this world, James 4.4, 4, it says, those that do that, you are the enemy of God, you know? We're not here for that. God does bless us and give us the things that we need, but he says we ask amiss, because when you're asking for things that they're not going to profit you, and uh, when people want it, like, I want to hit that lottery, I want to win that lottery, He, God knows it would be a nightmare for you and probably everybody around you. You know, money will destroy people. It, the Bible, he, he even talks and warns about that. You know, you want to be perfect, sell everything you have and give it to the poor. You know, people don't want to. Uh, everything's an example around you. You know, the Bible is an example. Um, I spent three and a half years going around trying to warn people what was going on. They offered to make me wealthy if I would speak less of Christ. I said, that'll never happen. And uh, my business you know, just stopped. Phone quit ringing and I lost my business. And two years living in my shop trying to make it work. And uh, it was just horrible. I barely paid the rent living in it. It just got worse and worse. And uh, finally, I had to move into my vehicle. And I said, well, I'm going hit, to hit the road warning people. And, you know, there's a lot of things that happened. And then I had people trying to come up to me saying, Mark, while I was still living in my shop, if you, if you stop doing what you're doing, you know, things will turn around for you. Oh, I knew they would. But I also knew uh, it would be Satan. It would be the world that was going to be throwing these things at me, trying to make me wealthy, trying to get me busy. It's like a, there was a police officer here that we used to talk with all the time, try to work with him, and uh, telling him the time, showing him, getting him to see. Well, he was a sergeant at one time. And uh, what did they do? They promote him. Boy, that seems like something good, don't it? They promote him. But now he's so busy. He's so busy that he's uh, fallen away from the reality of what's really going on. You guys, um, the dreams that I have, I have a lot of, every night I have them. And this morning I had them like, you know, trying to get out of this place, trying to get out. You know, we're captive here. Slaves, captive. See, they want you to do what they want you to do, to keep this beast to keep this um, going. See, people do worship this, all of it. <clears throat> I had somebody made a comment on my other video I posted. Well, I don't agree with you about Trump. You know, what? there wasn't enough for me to block him. I didn't block him. I just told him, I said, well, if you don't uh, see it, it's hidden from those who are lost. If you can't see it, if you can't put these things together, Trump came out with this speech saying he knew darn well I was a snake when a lady got bit and she goes, and now I'm gonna die. You know, and he goes, you knew darn well I was a snake. And then he came out with the operation warp speed. You take the P off of warp, take the P off of speed, you got war seed. Revelations 12, 17. Satan makes war on the seed. And, uh, 
for me, it just tells me how, much, how far we are into this. <clears throat> and I've had all kinds of things coming at me, guys. I mean, while I'm awake, while I'm asleep, it doesn't matter. On this YouTube, um, the channel, you know. You guys have seen the spirits and the videos. They just, sometimes they'll pop through and just fly by and you just never know what's going to show up and what's going to happen. <clears throat> then they uh, post pictures and comments to me showing where the pineal gland's broken, showing where uh, uh, a bus wipes out guardian angel and a pineal gland being busted. <clears throat> That's where they're trying to do sorcery, witchcraft, and all that stuff. But it doesn't work on those that are awake. Those who see and know. See, their witchcraft, their sorcery, it works only with those that are sleeping, that are a part of their, um, what they've made. See, this is uh, what they've created through their witchcraft and sorcery of following the devil. They've made all this uh, to be. They're the servants of corruption. And these people are in a lot of trouble. When you read the Word of God, it tells you you've had your moment. You know, they're in trouble. He's coming. This is his judgment. That's why everything's coming abroad. All the filthiness, everything. The LGBT, homosexual stuff. It's all being made legal. So, so it's no more hidden. You know, the things that they were doing. It's all coming abroad. That's why we're like, wow, wow, this stuff's everywhere. Well, it always was all around you. The only difference is it's not being hid. See, that's prophecy fulfilled. Christ prophecy. Okay? It's not to make you fearful. It's to make you see. You know, wow. You know, this is what Jesus said, and it is. You know, so this tells you how close we are. But the world can't see this. The world can't see it. Yeah. Anyhow, all night long, you guys, every night I get these dreams. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. Like I said, we are, we're waiting until Jesus comes and gets us out of here. That's what we're waiting for. We want to get out of this place. Okay, our eyes are open, but uh, the enemy knows it. Why do you think they put these uh, cell towers everywhere? So they know these phones, man. They know where you're at all the time. Your phones, that's why they're called smartphones. They know right where you're at. Yeah. They know where you're at all the time. And the cameras, whether your phone, front or back, they can see you, everything. I know they're watching me. I know they know where I'm at. Man, they were, I told you in 2014, they were trying to offer me a lot of money if I spoke less of Jesus Christ. You know, if you just change your thinking. In other words, see, because that's what's going on here. See, they got everybody in the same mind frame, like-minded, the world. And see, they don't want us having a different thinking, especially our thoughts that of Christ, of, of God, of Christ's will, of Christ's sayings, of Christ's teachings. They don't want that. You know, that's why they said it doesn't belong in the job school of government. They want to totally uh, get rid of it. Well, they can't with us, and they know this. But anyhow, nonetheless, you guys, we're here. And, uh... I got a lot of different stuff here, you guys. I could be excited. Like, I, I get on here and... I get on here and just look at stuff. And I go back and go throughout scriptures and looking at everything.
we get started here. I'll go right to the top. Why not? For thou hast hid their heart from understanding. Therefore shalt thou not exalt them. That's Job. 17.4. He has hidden these things from them to where they cannot see. And uh, to exalt them. You know, he reveals these things. Not that you have a spirit of fear. But you should be at peace knowing what you know. Not saying that we're having joy and loving this life because Satan is here. You know, this is a presently, this present evil world, that's because Satan's in it. You know, and you guys, we can't turn this around. Christ can, the Lord can, and that's what he's getting ready to do. You know, that's what I say. Your hope, your faith, your trust should be in Christ should be resting in Christ and reading his teachings and sayings and um, churches are asleep man, they're asleep I'm not saying you don't go and try to fight, test them, you can yeah but if they if they think Trump's a, Trump's a good guy it doesn't take long to find out it's not hard at all to find out John 9.39 and Jesus said, For judgment I came into this world, that they which see not might see, that they which see might be made blind. And some of the Pharisees which were with him heard these words and said unto him, Are we blind also? Jesus said unto them, If you were blind, you would have no sin. But now you say you see. We see. Therefore your sin remains. Now you guys, when I hear that verse, I look at these people who say they see. And as wicked and filthy as this is, um, they don't seem to... Um, doesn't seem to bother them, does it? For God sent not his son, this is John 3, 17 and 18. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. So you guys, like I said, it says the judgment of God begins with the churches, okay? Now, this verse, it clearly says, we know there's a lot of people say that they do believe in him, but yet they're blind. You know, so does that mean that they're damned? No, because uh, there's other scripture that says... Uh, some people's works will be burned up. Um, he'll have mercy on whom he'll have mercy. Uh, they'll lose rewards and stuff like that. I don't know. The judgment begins with the churches. You know, and uh, I don't know what his judgment's going to be. I just know this. It also says if they walk in darkness, which we see they are, then they lie and the truth is not in them. You know, we know it says liars do not enter the kingdom of heaven. So you guys, I'm not sure. There's a lot of, you know, and this is a condemnation that light has come into the world and men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. You guys, like, if you're not keeping Jesus' teachings, it's like I go into the Christian bookstore and want to go buy the Bible. I know where to go. All the way in the back wall if I want to go look at their Bibles. All the way in the back. That's, they want you to work, walk through their merchandise. All their merchandise. And the Word of God says they've made merchandise of you. You know? These are people that go to church and stuff. Are they aware the, that with their own mouth they're saying what they're doing you know 
I don't know how it's going to work out for him. I don't. I really don't. I do buy some of their t-shirts as long as they don't have a flag on it. And it's got scripture, you know. Alright. John 717. If any man will do his will, he shall he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. You know. That's what Jesus was saying. If any man will do his will, he will know the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory, but he that seeketh his, glo his glory that sent him, the same is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. Did not Moses give you the law, and yet none of you keeps the law? Why go ye about to kill me? See, that's where you guys, people trying to keep the law, you know, we, um, we have grace through faith. In Christ okay that's where our salvation lies and the law it is in our hearts we're not going to do the things we used to do that we're now ashamed of we won't do those things anymore some of the dreams that I get that's what I get I have it thrown in my face a lot you know um, even like smoking when I used to smoke pot you know it's things like that you know but anyhow um, I think the enemy tries to bring old things against us all the time. It's spiritual, you guys. They're all around us. You know, they're all around us. We don't, you know, you guys, we observe the law because the law tells us what sin is. You know, we don't. See, when you become dead to this place, you don't want nothing more to do with it, then, you know, it's a lot easier because your mind stays fixed on Christ, on his teachings. <laughs> That's why it says those that say they're in me and they walk in darkness. In other words, they don't know his teachings. You know, why is it that we strive to know every word that he spoke? Because we have understanding of this now. You know. The, the people that didn't know his teachings. Didn't understand. Listen to this. John 844. You are of your father the devil. Remember what it says. You are whom you obey. Whether sin into death. Or obedience into God. And the lust of your father. You will do. See, this is the image. This is what's been created around us. The work, the things that get people more and more busy. You know, to promote you from sergeant to captain to this to this. You know, to get you more into the world. Whose ways do you think that that person's keeping now? It's man's ways and man's laws. He's now put God on the back shelf because he's busy with this. You know? That's what this is. This is meant to, you know, distract you. And it does do just what it's supposed to do. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own own. For he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. John 10, 26 and 7. But you believe not, because you are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep, they hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. See, this is why I say in these dreams, you guys, I feel like, you know, I was trying to uh, escape out of this place and uh, get out of there and everywhere I went and I feel like that's this world everywhere I go you know this place is it's in everything it's infested 
no matter where I go and I try to get out of here, you know, there's nothing to do. It's like, where are you going to go? I don't care what part of the world you go in. It's all the same everywhere. You know, all these people that are ruling over people, all their laws, everything that they're doing, you know, it's not the ways of the Lord. It's not. John twelve forty three, And they love the praise of men more than they do of God. Isaiah 39. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of God, of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not, to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceit. It's kind of like when they came in, Mark, if you just stop speaking like you're speaking, your life will turn around. You know, stop it. You know? See, they, the enemy knows when you're awake. And when you're awake, they don't like that because they've worked so hard at getting people in darkness and in, in the ways of the world. You know, you got to really die to this. And like it says, open your heart and believe and let Christ in your heart. You know, because we are never supposed to like this world. Never. Get you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to seize before us. Wherefore, thus says the Holy One of Israel, because you despise this word and you trust in oppression, perverseness, and stay thereon, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out on a high wall, whose breaking comes suddenly at an instant. That's what I'm saying. I want out of this place bad. Sometimes when I'm sitting here using, um, like here at this place that I'm at, I use their Wi-Fi. People, because I'm here, people pull up here early thinking uh, it's open, you know. Romans 2.8 But unto them that are contingent and do not obey the truth but obey unrighteousness indignation and wrath Remember you guys this is what this is coming down for 1 Peter 2.8 And a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense even to them which stumble at the word being disobedient whereunto they also they were appointed to this from the beginning of time. You know, so we're, we're seeing the Lord has always known this would happen. He's always known that the, they would stumble at these words. And it's because of the world. Okay? Second Peter 3.3 3, Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. Luke 2.34 And Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and the rising of many in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Which they did that. They spoke against everything and that was in Scripture, that did come to pass, but yet they spoke against it and him. And the fall, it's set for the fall and the rising. You know, many fell and some rose. Okay. They will be calling out on Christ pretty soon. Um, Luke 13.30 And behold, there are those that are last which shall be first and those that are first which shall be last. 2 Corinthians 2.17 For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God, but as of sincerity, but as of God, in the sight of God, speak we Christ. 2 Corinthians 4.4 4, In whom the God of this world 
has blinded the minds of them which believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Ephesians 5.14 Wherefore he says, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give you light. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Well, I'll tell you what, man, I've been knowing it for a long time now. And once you know these things, you will be separated from this. You won't want to be a part of the world no more. And there's only one truth. It's the word of God. You know? And if you want to know all the truth and more truth, get into the word. Read the word. And especially all of Jesus' teachings. Not just getting your ear tickled. You don't want to get your ear tickled today. You know? By the grace of God, we are saved through our faith in Christ. We know that. But I don't need my ears tickled where I can jump out in this and think that everything's fine out here because it's not. You know, they don't want to talk about Satan being the prince of this world. You know, they don't want to talk about that. I've had people say, man, you talk a lot about the devil. I said, well, look at what's going on. It's evil here, man. He goes, well, yeah, if you tell people the other things, you know, you'll have more people wanting to listen. I said, I know. Scripture says that, that more people will want to hear good things, smooth things, pleasant things. You know, that was that preacher on the plane coming back telling me what's in scriptures I already know. But it's like he didn't know that was in scriptures. And he was a preacher telling me not to be speaking about the evil. You know, people don't want to hear that. And that's because they're too busy, you know, getting promotions, buying that new home. You know, in the midst of this. Wanting to have families and stuff. In the midst of this. You know, if they knew the truth, they wouldn't. Alright. First Peter 2, 8 and 9. And a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. Even to them which stumble at the word. Being disobedient. Whereunto also they were appointed. But you are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. You know, we have been, man, by the grace of God. We had our eyes opened. We were in this darkness. You know, all my dreams, that's what I see all the time, trying to escape out of this place, trying to get out. Well, Christ is our only way out of here. And we ain't going no place, nowhere, until the time. Until the appointed time. Just like they were appointed to stumble at the word, well, there's an appointed time for everything. As much as we want out of here, but this is where you just want to be at peace, knowing his word. Because in his word is peace. You know? I just don't like all these dreams. Yeah, I really don't like them. But uh, there is peace in his word, knowing this. But not in the world. Not now we know what's what. It was never supposed to be like this. And we were always supposed to know his word, his teachings. And that ain't what is being taught today. And it's, it's blind. It's a lot of trouble. All right, 1 Peter 2, 10, 11, and 12. Which in time past were not a people, but now are the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims to abstain from fleshly lust, which war against the soul. Having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers. They may, by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify God in the day of visitation. John eight twelve, 
Then spoke Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. You see, people think they're following him, and we know they're in darkness. They don't even realize the snake bite. They don't even realize the war on the seed that's happened. That's that's what I'm saying. They're in darkness. If you don't know that and Trump, you know, even the name Obama and America being a nation, and you say abomination, say it in one word. Two things, but say it in one word. Abomination. Trump, Vice President Pence. Trump Pence. The abomination happened, Trump Pence. And now we're Biden time. And we just happen to have a president named Biden. Only God can put these. He appoints these things. He appointed these people because he knew who they were. A snake. He was a snake from the beginning. You know, he's always known he was a snake. That's why he brought out the venom. And that's why it was called warp speed. The devil does things like that. See, he himself, he's being driven. You know, he's just a vessel that the devil uses. You know, that's what's happening. We were all vessels uh, being driven until the Lord opened us up, took us out of that darkness into this, his light, to see the truth. You know, this is why Jesus says, the world has nothing on me. I'm not of this world. You know, you are from beneath. I am from above. You know, that's why I could say right now, truthfully, I'm not of this world. And it's very uncomfortable being here. I want out of it. Shall not walk in darkness. That's blindness, you guys. First John 1 John 1.6 If we say that we have fellowship with him and we walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Okay? They don't know it. They're just blind. But we know. That's why it says, but you, brethren, you're not of the darkness. You know perfectly well. You know perfectly well. You're not of the darkness. John 12, 40. He has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts that they should not see with their eyes nor understand with their hearts and be converted and I should heal them. These things said Isaiah when he saw his glory and he spoke of him. Nevertheless, among the chief rulers also many believed on him, but because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him, lest they should be put out of the synagogue. For they loved the praise of men more than the praise of God. Isaiah 6, 8, 9, and 10. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then I said, I, here I, here am I, send me. And he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. See ye indeed, but perceive not. This is what you're seeing right now, you guys. We had our eyes open to see this. Make the heart of this people fat. Make their ears heavy. And shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. For the Lord has poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and he has closed their eyes, and he has closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers and seers has he covered. <coughs> And the vision of all has become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. Wow. Remember the book that was sealed? Well, see, now we see this book that was sealed. It's become open to us, but not to them. Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot, for it is sealed. 
And the book is delivered unto him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. Therefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near to me with their mouth and their lips, do honor me, but they have removed their hearts far from me, and their fear towards me is taught by the precepts of men. See, this is what I'm saying. This is what they've done. You know, and it's, you know, we're never supposed to be living like this. This place is infested now. You know, you know, even to turn this thing all around, it's just infested with the with so much wickedness. All right, Isaiah twenty nine fourteen and fifteen. Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among this people, even a marvelous work and a wonder. For the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, and the understanding of their prudent men shall be hid. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us? And who knoweth us? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as a potter's clay. For shall the work say unto him that made it, He made me not? Or shall the thing framed Say of him that framed it, he has no understanding. You see, you guys, this is what we're seeing, and this is what we know. God created and made all things, even the wicked, for the day of evil. The Lord's known from the beginning where everybody's hearts would go. You know, I'm going to sign off here, you guys. Um, I hope and pray you guys receive a message from this. I got more to read. A lot more and uh, I'll do another video later stay strong in the Lord you guys and stay in his word and have peace you know we're just biding time that's why we got a president named Biden we're just biding time no matter what happens you guys just remember this it's all being revealed anybody that's got their hopes in a man like that person said to me I don't agree with you about Trump well you don't have to agree with me. My hope is in the Lord. Blessed are those whose hope the Lord is. Um, if it's hid from them, it's hid to them that are lost. You know, if they're still looking for a man, you know, in this place to do something, forget it. It's over. This place is over. They're all vessels of dishonor, and you should be able to see it. You know, the only one we're going to be glorying in is the Lord. That's who you should be glorying in right now. Because it's him that's revealed everything. He's the one that's bringing everything. His word. He said it all would be revealed. That's why you see the rainbow on the flag. That is the last flag. You know, all these flags all around the world. Um, they're all Satan. He's got his flags raised up everywhere. You know, that's what they are. Anyhow, God bless everybody in the name of our Lord and our Savior. Jesus Christ.